headed to Astoria, Queens to meet up with Nonatina Sacramone, the legendary pastaya at Trattoria L'Incontro. Together, she and her son Rocco have been making amazing Italian specialties for over 14 years. I started to cook at 10 years old because my father had died. My mom, I was supposed to go to work, and me, I got to cook because I have two brothers and one sister. And that's my story, the start. I'm very happy today. Today we're going to cook, Tina, I right? Cook, yes. Be you, because you look wonderful girl. No, you got to teach me how to cook. Okay. You look at me, and yeah. you look. Okay. So, uh, today I want to teach you to make uh, polpettine di cheese. Ah, the polpettine di cheese. Yes. Those are like, uh, they're meatballs with no meat. No meat. No meat. Just the cheese. Because dopo you finish, yeah. you gotta fry. You fry, okay. and you put in the salsa. Okay. They come with delicious. How long you been making those meatballs? I think this recipe may be the great, great, great grandma. Your great, yeah. great, great, great grandmother made and this. And me, yeah? I want to teach. I want to learn. Uh, yes, because this, my grandma, they teach me. Yeah. Mommy, I never want to forget. Because uh -huh. this is my favorite. This is your favorite recipe. Out of all the things you make, this is your favorite. That's my favorite. And now we're going to go shopping? We're going to buy yes. some stuff? Yes. I okay. go buy all the stuff for the, for the end. Uh, but shopping, you like shopping. I love shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I have four grand jokes. One girl, Chiara. I adore the, my son, Rocco. I love her. She called me nonna, nonna. I said, one day I take you daddy. They said, no, nonna, he's my daddy. So I have three grandsons, so ends. Wonderful. One beautiful, another one. They call me everybody nonna, italiano. I say sometimes, I say, tola nonna, come stai nonna? And the kids, they say, come stai nonna? Bene, grazie. <laughs> You know, I love it. This one's good? Yeah, penne That's it. Which one do you want to use? I want to use the penne. You want to use the penne? Okay, we need one box or two? No, one box. Okay. What else we got to get? Okay. No, we need a... We need extra virgin. A pure oil. And we need pure just olive oil. Which one do you want? Oh, this one. Okay. 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 And we need some cheese. Yeah. Let's find some cheese over here. <laughs> That's my best friend. And this is the store Rocco shops from the store. Yes. This oh, fruit store? That's my store. Yes. Okay. I know Rocco since he was little. Yeah? Young. Aww. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Mommy was right there, see? That store? The corner? The corner. Yeah. That's your last. The first oh, wow. Ever there. She started cook Italian food just for us, you know, for yeah. the family. Yeah. I work here all night time, this, already. here, look at him. Oh, he was a little kid, and now look at him. What are you doing here? What are you doing You here? guys are famous in Astoria. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go, go inside. Come, come. the restaurant, I'm stuff, making man. the stuff. Yeah, you, you know, stuff these? these? Yeah, yeah. Oh, those are delicious. I give it to the customer, yeah. this is too. Because these have no seeds, these are all yeah. flesh. I cut a little bit of this, because yeah. this is the up. Yeah. I cut this, I give it to the customer. Look <laughs> at this. I stuff, I put this on top. Beautiful. Yes. How and long has this uh, fruit store been here? 45 years. 45 and years. We've got no doors, they never close. <laughs> we don't have no doors. <laughs> never. Let's go. Oh, these are nice. This, I love this. These are beautiful. Oh, yeah, because they're fresh. This is the Long Island tomato. Yeah. These are mommy's favorite. Yeah. This is the Long Island tomatoes. That I bring from the farm. Oh, yeah? Yes. The vegetables. On that side. Let me give you the madarines for home. No, 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 there's, you teach him to say no, no. <laughs> this was wonderful, mm. thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck. <laughs> you, I'll see you next week. All right. I'll see you next Violet week. Violet. All right. We got to go Let's cook go. now. <laughs> I head back to Trattoria L'Incontro with Nonna Tina and Rocco, where people come from all over to get a taste of Nonna Tina's specialties. 
And it's no joke, she's definitely the queen of this kitchen. First, Rocco Deva was a small pizzeria. So, after next door, they move somebody. And, my, you know, it was small too, there may be 12 pa table, 20 table. So, uh, Rocco, they say one day to me, Mama, this is so small, it is. I need more big because you can cover the, all of the expenses here, it's so, so small, you know. I say, okay, you go find something and you bring me. So when my son, they buy this here, they buy, they, they rent this restaurant that they have now, Trattoria Lingondro, they start to work hard. Me, him, and they start to take the employee. First, they work my, my son, me, and two couple of guys. Easy is the people that love the food. Because when you nicing the customer, the customer, the appreciation, whatever you do, they pay back. That's it. Rocco, do you remember when you were little, your mother was cooking for you? Did she taught you how to cook? She did a lot, actually, yeah. She uh, was very influential. I would, be, I would be next to her. Yeah. You know, like when you would be making some stuff. That when you have a baby, I would be next to her. They love her. And the fact is, when I, I never forget when I got my first job working at a restaurant, I went home and I said, Ma, I said, no, I'm going to make something. No, 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 that's not the way you make it. I said, no, but the chef makes it like, no, 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 that's not the way you make it. <laughs> you don't tell your mother no. No. <laughs> no. <It's> okay. <laughs> one migrant's on, they come in one day. Did she know, what do you do? I said, I make pasta. I can help you. I said, okay, sit that close to Nonna. And I said, Nonna, I love her. Why not make me for work? I said, you gotta go to school, baby. You need school. Because you see Nonna, they don't speak very well English. Because they don't go to the school. But you gotta learn. Do people come to the restaurant just for her ravioli? Yeah, we, we, we have, uh, ravioli's a big year. We do a lot of different uh, seasonal yeah. stuff. For example, right now, we're doing this. Oh, Next week, I'm going to make the oh, chestnut. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Cut around. Cut it with this. Next, um, I'm going. I'm doing some chestnuts. I'm doing some green apple. So it's very seasonal with the raviolis. I mean, of course, we have like three or of, of uh, three or four of the basic ones that we do, like the mezzaluna, the spinach and cheese, the quattro formaggi. Those are basics. But then everything else here is seasonal. Well, your mother's the resident pastaia here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she does a lot of the sauces, a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. Rocco, they don't want to come here work. Mamia says, I gotta come, baby. I gotta work. And my son is so happy. When they see me, okay, I open the restaurant, they see me. They smile all the time. No matter where, have something uh, go wrong. Listen, when you touch one thing, the foot, you gotta know um, when the time you gotta touch. Because uh, See, you not think bar when you do the foot, you ruin. In veggie, the foot you love, you gotta love. Yeah, you love your boyfriend. That's it. <laughs> so, did you bring us a good recipe from Trattoria Rincontro? Yes. What are we gonna make? I make the polpettine di cheese. The polpettine di cheese. Now, these are polpette, which are meatballs, but these are meatballs with no meat. No meat. No meat, no right? Meat. No. Like, and uh, my nonna also calls them polpette de la guerra because in the war you would make meatballs with no meat because there was no meat. No, no, ma this is a tradition gas they use. Okay, so yes. this is a traditional polpette from yes. Arsonia. Yes. Okay, so what? In the a, restaurant, they are very famous. In the restaurant, it's famous? You, yes. you swear? Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. what are we gonna do first? Frost, you gotta break two eggs. Okay. And we're gonna start by beating some eggs, right? Yes. But do you need the egg beater? Can you do this with a fork, no? You know why I needed this? For the, for the bread. For the bread? Ma, uh, because I'm at the restaurant, I use this. Mm -hmm. And this okay. bread, is this fresh bread? This, this bread, that's Italiano bread. Italian bread. Yes, okay, you put this. And this soaks up all the egg, right? Yeah. There we go. 
So you want it to break up yeah, the, the bread break up a little all bit of the bread. to make it smooth. Because no, they're not coming apart. So when you see that all the bread becomes yes. smooth. They come as smooth, Lord, you put the cheese. So now we're going to add the cheese inside? Yes. Okay. Well, let me see. Let me see the fork. This is one cup and a quarter Okay. the cheese. How long have you been making these palpette? What the? Oh, my God. At 10 years, I start. At 10 years old? <laughs> 10 years old. Uh, we're not going to say how old you are, so it's no. a long time. You put a little bit of the garlic. A little bit of garlic. Chop, That's chopped chop. garlic. You put a little bit of baking powder. You need baking powder in this. Little that's that's surprising. That's the secret. That's the secret. Ah, ah, ah. I never told it to nobody. No, just me. Just you, because you especially gold. After you put the parsley, chop the parsley a little bit. A little bit of fresh parsley. Yes. You need fresh parsley. Oh, yeah. No dry. No dry. And then more cheese. Yeah, I like it. You can put the, no, no, this year, one cup and a quarter of cheese. That's so it. this is a recipe that, you know, you would have the, because you, meat was very expensive. No? Yes. Yes. So this is something that even poor, pe take, poor people can make. Rich yes, people. yes. But now they eat the rich people. Uh, they now, <laughs> yeah, now the rich people eat it. They love <laughs> Okay. You see? That's it. Meat. Okay. Now put the oil. Okay, so now we're going to add some oil. This is pure oil. Some 100% olive oil. oil. Okay. But I never like for smoking oil. So now we're going to make the polpette. Yes. And why do we need gloves for this? Because usually nonnas, they use their hands for everything. Me, I like the gloves because they come in more professional. Uh, you're a professional. If anybody's a professional nonna, you're a professional. Something you got to use. Mm -hmm. You need the gloves. Not for everything. But for something is something you, you need. So for this, it's because we want it to be more smooth? Yes. I want to be uh, nice, fine. So all you're going to do is roll a ball? Roll a ball and just you do this, you see? And then that's it. Like that. That's okay, one is small, one is big. Uh, it's more uh, the small you give it to the, the, the baby. The baby, <laughs> the bigger one you give it to fiancé, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the gloves, yeah. when you use the gloves, it doesn't uh, stick to your hands. No, looking like I'm in a profession, you see? I see, I see. You see? It's beautiful. Look, look, it's okay. They're beautiful, yes. Yes. So how do you know when the oil's ready? When we see the little bubbles, right? Yeah. So that oil is ready yeah. now. You got to press just a little bit. Press? A little bit. Press. Okay. Little so bit. So why you have to make them flat a little bit? You have to just press them. Ah, with that's your hands one like secret. This. Yes. Because that's it, another secret? Yes. Because not put together. And now you just fry them until they're the right color. Yes. Okay. This, you don't need too much the the fiamma. No, not too much flame, strong, yeah. not too strong yeah. a flame. Because this, most, so you imagine the oil, they're not taking nothing the oil. Okay. That's why I love this recipe. Because it doesn't absorb too much oil. Nothing. Miss Andama, the restaurant, uh, I make uh, four, uh, 400 porpette. Yeah. They don't take this, the oil. Wow. But all you gotta know what to do. You have to know what to do. So right here, how long do you leave them to fry? Finakin, you know, finish the the little bit more color. You L need a little bit more color. A little bit of color. Yes. So a little yes. bit darker than this. Yes. These are gorgeous. So it's kind of like an arancino. Ah, arancino, very different. Arancino is making the cheese. Well, the you have the ice. same color. Ah, the same color. Yeah. Because you know why? You got to put on the salsa. Yes. When you put on the salsa, this. It's supposed to be strong mm -hmm. because it's not the vent soft. Yeah. So you want to fry these until they're hard enough to maintain their integrity in a sauce. In the salsa, yes. To maintain their shape. Yes.
I never show to nobody. The first time I show to you, I show to you. I'm very, very lucky to know your secret. So, well, one day I want to see you make. I will make these. I will absolutely make these. These are great. They're easy. They're delicious. Okay, now close to the... Okay. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow. Oh, they are beautiful. Look. These are perfect. Look. You see? These are amazing. And now we're going to make a sauce to go with yes. them, right? Yes, yes. Okay. You can eat this. Uh, I, no will, sauce. I will eat this yes. just by itself. Le so leave it not too much cold because I yeah, don't yeah. like it. Uh, no, not cold. A little, little bit of cold. Yeah. Yeah. And do you eat. But you now start. we're going to start making a sauce, yes. right? Yes. So we're going to start with a little extra virgin olive virgin. oil. See, somebody, they don't want to buy extra virgin olive oil because they cost money. But you think about it, the, the extra virgin olive, they grow. Especially when you make the salsa. Yeah. And you put the salsa, you put they grow. You, you need a little bit. You only need a little bit of little extra bit, virgin. Okay. So I asked you one time, I'm going to ask, how do you make something extra virgin? Olive Olive You don't want to answer. <laughs> the garlic, I never like fine. You don't like to no, like it. I fine. like it big. You know why? Because you know when you eat it, you you so put it on side. If someone yeah. doesn't like it, they can take it out. That's it. Do you like garlic? I like yes. I love garlic. I, I love garlic. I don't understand these people that don't like garlic. No, I love garlic. Pero depends on what right. it goes. Me when I make pasta fagioli, I love onion. Yeah. A lot of onion. Mm -hmm. I love it. But it, but in this recipe we're gonna do a garlic. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take it with a wooden spoon. I'm just going to okay. see. And what else are we going to use in this sauce today? Now you use uh, Rienzi tomato. We have our canned crushed tomatoes. I don't like too much fry. But you want the garlic to have some color. That's it. A little, little bit of color. color. Yes. Yes. There's nothing like war like hot garlic. There's nothing like the smell of garlic. So you know, like this, they go the test. Mm -hmm. You push on the side and you eat the salsa good. So let's talk a little bit about you. When you first came to America, what did you do? So I go as a dressmaker. You were a dressmaker? The dress night, the night I come in America, I can bless America. I <laughs> love it anyway. The night I come on the cruise. And the morning I go start the work as a dressmaker. Yeah? Yes. Wow. And then how did you start to cook? So me all the time, I love to cook. So when uh, my son, he was Rocco, they were big, they said one day to me, Mama, I want to open something for cook, for, for the person, the restaurant, the small. I said, listen, baby, you need money. <laughs> <laughs> listen, baby. <laughs> you call everybody baby. Yes, I love everyone. <laughs> Because I'm very friendly. So, and my son, they say, Ma, okay, you give me a little bit of the money, now you put the salsa. And me, I work, I say, okay, but you think about this, so you open the restaurant, first you gotta love work. Yeah. You gotta work 12 days, 16 days. And second, you gotta love people. Because you uh. love people, you go, you go up. Yeah. So no, baby, you nothing, you know, nothing. <laughs> so I thank God I said this. He have a passion, he have a love, he have a strong, he have everything. All the things that you taught him. All it, everything. <laughs> they listen to me. He listens to you. All the time. <laughs> Sometimes they make a a little bit of ba ba ba. Yeah, yeah. but you, <laughs> you're like in, in the restaurant, you're like the mama of everybody. The mama of everybody. Yes. Yeah, when somebody does something, they have a problem, they come to you, right? Yeah. They Did come mama, to you? you know this, you know, and me, I go, hey, let's see, do this, do this, you listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> but then if they don't listen to you, then... Uh, hey, no, but they start three times, I said. Oh, but the fourth, uh, fourth time, I say, hey, let's see, now something wrong, some place, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> do you think everybody's a little bit afraid of you? Ah, no afraid, because I joke around with yeah. the kids. I love the kids, they work, because I know when I come to this country, 
when yeah. I go to work the frosted day. And me, I feel, when the, the, the guy that come, I go to the kitchen, I say, let's see, however, buddy, this guy not take your job, not take your job. This guy is supposed to work. I want you to treat it good. <laughs> you know? So how's our sauce doing now? Okay, this now is supposed to cook. Yeah, we gotta cook this a little bit. So how yes. long do you think it has to cook for? Uh, uh, one hour. About an hour, okay. So we're gonna add some fresh basil? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. And you got your big knife. I've never <laughs> seen a nonna use a knife like this. Uh, me, no, I use all the time a big knife. What do you want to do with this huh. nonna? I don't want it too choppy chop because, you know. No, you want to leave it bigger. Yeah, because, you know, like, you can't take it off at all. You put the salt. Basil smells wonderful. I love it. Yeah. So now we're just going to add a little bit of salt and let this cook for about and an that's hour. That's it, yes. Okay. Rosella. Yes. Look at this. I want to open. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Look. You're right, no oil. No, no oil. It's not oily inside. No oil. Just a little bit here. Because this is the cooking uh, caloria. Yes. The lolio. Yes. That's it. Look. That is amazing. Taste. You got a taste too? Yes. Mmm. Mm. I love it. Look. Amazing. We're ready? The sauce is the done? The salsa is ready. The salsa is ready. Hey. Okay. Beautiful. Wait. This looks I'm amazing. I'm going to make a little polpetta now. Okay. So now we're going to add the, the polpetta. We're going to add our bread meatballs to. The salsa. the salsa, and now the sauce is gonna it, go Cook through. Cook a little bit more. The polpette are gonna absorb the sauce yes. now. Yes. That's it. Wonderful. We can return to this. So how long do the polpette have to stay inside the sauce? Oh, a little bit, a little bit. Ten minutes. And now to go with our wonderful salsa and polpetta, we have this to have some salsa. pasta. This is salsa. You can eat the polpetta. Yeah. Get the paper. Mm -hmm. You throw a little bit of paper. You can eat the, this is salsa. Get a little bit of the beans, if you like. Yeah. The cannellini. Of course. And you can eat the salsa and the pasta. Because never you throw this away. Of course so you not. have a, too much, you put on the freezer. The second week, you eat the delicious and get the polpetta too. But with this, with this dish today, with the polpetta, you need a little bit of pasta, right? Yes. We got to make today some pasta? I'm make pasta, yes. So our water is already boiling. The boiler. And okay. we're going to use some... Uh, Rienzi pasta. We're going to use some Rienzi penne di ziti. Okay. But you can make any kind of pasta with this. You any can. game, fettuccine, spaghetti. I like to throw this. Yeah. Okay. Throw our penna in our boiling penna. water. Okay. We see the... Okay, take this. Okay. Give that a quick stir. Yes. Yeah. So now our pasta is ready. Now Natina is going to take out the polpette. And when you make pasta, you always want to cook, finish the pasta inside the sauce, right? Yes. Because I take more taste, you know. Yeah. I don't know if you put much salsa this way. Wait, I put here. Okay, go ahead. I'm just going to scoop our pasta into the sauce. And you want to keep a little bit of pasta water. As you need it. Yeah. As you don't need it. So it could make the sauce a little bit thicker, a little bit of acqua di cottura. Yeah. Ah, uh, look. Look at the salsa. Look at the pasta. The sign of a good pasta is when there's no sauce at the bottom of the pan. All the sauce All is the on sauce, the pasta. The, yeah, that's, that's you can see the pasta getting good. You see? The pasta has good texture. Yes. Yes. You see? And you just need two minutes in the pan so everything comes yeah, together, everything right? Everything comes together. Because you know why? So you take the la pot and you put the pasta, they don't take all of the, the good. Yeah. You know. If you just put it in the plate and then put the sauce on top, yes. the pasta doesn't absorb yeah. anything. OK. 
Okay, that's good for now. Okay. And we're going to add some polpette on top? Yes. Okay. Polpette. So how do you like it? Like this? Ah, whatever. You've got to eat anyway. That's it. <laughs> Like that. Very good, very good. Uh, this one that's fixed, like yes. this. And yes. we put one in the middle. One in the middle, yes. One in the middle. Look at this. Okay. This is salsa. And this, the so bread, you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean right yes. here. Yes, so you don't need, <laughs> you can put that in the freezer. So if these, these, if they're left over, you can freeze them. You can freeze them. You can you just can freeze them. You can keep it one month, whatever. Yeah, you and they're still good? You freeze them in the plastic. Wonderful. You freeze. Uh, you go to work, they come to your house, they say, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> you take it off of this and the freezer, that's it. So when my husband comes home, I don't have a husband yet, but when he comes okay, home. Okay, when do you have? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so now we can eat, we can taste the pasta? Yes. Because I can't wait over here. Oh, thank you. Okay. I want to taste the polpetta. Mmm. Mm. That's so good. And look at the polpette. That is so good. Look. You see the oil? No, no oil. oil. You're so right. No oil. It's so moist. Mm. It's delicious. That's so good. Mm. That's so good. And the pasta is perfectly cooked. This is amazing. Perfect. Yeah, because if you cook it too much, no good. No, a, you cook it too much, no good. This is. I love the pasta. Thank you for teaching me how to make this. Thank welcome. you for being my nomad today. Thank you today. for inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> hey, Ciao. Mino. Thank Mino you, baby. baby. Grazie. Say thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. <laughs>